Welcome everybody to the very first episode of Nerd Generation. I'm your host Pablo. I'm just gonna come right out and just tell you guys the top 10 perfect films. I want you guys to sort of see where I come from and whatever I come from, what kind of stuff I like to listen to, what kind of stuff I like to watch. And these are not ranked from worst to best or whatever. These are just top 10. First Blood. First Blood is a movie that I'll watch anytime it's on. If I'm flipping through channels and I see the title and the guide, I'm going to go see First Blood. That movie, that last scene was just amazing. That last scene was just amazing. Where when he talking to when he's talking to General Troutman, General or Colonel, General, General. Yeah, when he has that conversation with General Troutman, that was an intense scene. You know which scene I'm talking about. It's over, Johnny. It's over. Nothing is over. Nothing. You just don't turn it off. It wasn't my war. You asked me, I didn't ask you. And it was just a movie about a dude, you know, coming back home from the Vietnam, you know, having some crazy stuff happen to him. And uh, he just came back home and uh, he was just looking for a place to eat and things got rough and stuff sparked his PTSD up and he went on a rampage. And it was a dope movie. It was just a, it was just a fantastic film. I don't find anything wrong with that film. It's a perfect film film for me. Number two, Coming to America. This is a classic, ladies and gentlemen. Eddie Murphy and Arsenio Hall, because Arsenio Hall made that funny too. Arsenio Hall killed And I want you to hold on to God's unchanging hand, because he helped Joshua fight the battle of Jericho. Yes. He helped Daniel get out the lion's den. He helped kill a gun. Get off the island. Lord. There isn't anyone that will disagree with me when I say this. Every scene was memorable. Every character was memorable. Many of them played by Arsenio Hall and Eddie Murphy. You know, I think it was just brilliantly directed. The guys that created Coming to America and, and, and were able to produce a performance from each of the characters that was satisfactory to them to order in order to give us that film is 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 just an amazing feat. That that movie is a perfect film. I know Coming to America 2 is coming out and uh, I hope it lives up to that film. But some to me in my opinion, some films are just you just gotta leave it alone. And if you're gonna do it, do it immediately, not wait like 20 years. But hopefully they can make it work, man. Let's see, because you know, obviously we got Terminator 2 you know, years down the line, and, and it was dope. So hopefully they can bring back that magic. Number three, The Crow with Brandon Lee. That movie is just another film, man, that uh, I didn't find anything wrong with it. You know, the performances were great. Ernie Hudson was, was you know, there, and he was just a cop. You, you know, all these things were believable, each, each of these characters, except for the main villain. He was probably a little bit over the top, but there's probably dudes out there like that. But that was that was a that was a dope film, man. Uh, Brandon Lee was coming up on that one, and unfortunately, we all know what happened there. But that's definitely a film that I would see if it's on. I'm watching number four, The Matrix. Do I need to continue? Classic. The, the original Matrix film was a classic. It changed everything. After that movie, the special effects of other films started getting up a notch because they had to compete with something like that. You know, everything else was a derivative from The Matrix. So if you haven't seen The Matrix, you, for these young guys that are out there, if you haven't seen The Matrix, that is a film don't, you cannot sleep on. Number five, The Winter Soldier. Listen, I loved Infinity War. I loved Endgame. I had my issues with it. I did not have the issues with The Winter Soldier. It had all the elements, drama, humor, it just had it all. That's why you believe Chris Evans is Captain America. That's why you believe that, um, what's his name? Stan, forget his name. You believe he was the Winter Soldier. To me, he reminded me of the Terminator. Was going about his business and his mission, nothing was gonna stop him. To me, that was that brought back that, that, that feeling of when I first saw the Terminator. Number six, Predator. Arnold Schwarzenegger's performance in Predator was perfect. The characters there, you remember all of them. Jesse Ventura, Mac. Come on, who's gonna forget that scene? 
He got two scenes that are dope. Not in Predator, but one in Predator and one in Menace to Society. Everybody know who... If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Kudos to the director, to the director and the writers of that film and, and, and brought out the performances of those individuals for that film. Number seven, Conan the Barbarian, man. I don't remember a lot of dialogue in that thing. James Old Jones was that was in that film, and he was he's he's amazing in almost everything that he does. That guy, yeah, I don't remember any dialogue in, in Conan the Barbarian. It was it was simple revenge film. You believe what was going on there when you were watching it? It took you there. That's one of the things about perfect films and great films in general. They take you there. It, I know I'm sure there was, but I just don't remember it because there was just so much. Silence too much in between, you know what I'm saying? I know Jason Momoa did a Conan the Barbarian film. That didn't go anywhere. Hey man, sometimes you gotta leave the classics alone, man. Number eight, 12 Angry Men. I was introduced to this film when I was going to college and I think we were, had a class on critical thinking. And this was an old film, it was a black and white film. And it was just fascinating to see 12 men go into a jury room, listen to all the testimony. You don't have, you don't get to see all the testimony or anything like that. They just go into uh, the deliberation uh, the room to talk about the case and um, to come up with a verdict. All of them were in favor to, to convict the teenager uh, of murder. Um, and one didn't quite buy it that based on the testimony that everything was as it was uh, presented. So he was able to one by one change everyone's mind and arrive at the truth. And it was just amazing to watch and how he was able to do that. Um, definitely watch 12 Angry Men, the old the original, the original black and white. Number nine, The Usual Suspects. Listen, the usual suspects, if you saw, if you ever saw The Sixth Sense, at the end of that film, you were like, oh, that's The Usual Suspects, that feeling, like, oh, snap. You, The Usual Suspects is just one of those films that you're, that you pay attention to, because each character is very unique and very memorable, and Kevin Spacey, ah. He did an amazing job, and everybody else in that, Benicio Del Toro, uh, Gus. And number 10, Grease. Grease. Fun film, the performances were great, the songs were great, the choreography was great. Grease always stands out to me as one of the best uh, musical films um, that I've seen in my lifetime. Grease 2, I saw Grease 2. When I was a kid, I watched Grease 2. And it was cool too, you know, I, I watch it again now. Grease 2 is a horrible film. No wonder Michelle Pfeiffer doesn't want anything to do or have any association with that film. Grease 2 was horrible. It had its moments. I think I know him because I watched it so many times when I was a kid. Grease 2 was horrible, but Grease, the original Grease, was a perfect film for me. Come on, old Glenchens. Listen, Rocky 3 for me was dope. Mr. T, that was an Rocky 3, man, that's one of my favorite films. I'm appalled that Club of Leg hasn't been in any of these films that they've um, resurrected with Creed because he was the best part of Rocky 3. I tell you this, Mr. T stole every scene. Terminator 1, Terminator 2 were obviously great films, but I didn't want to put four joints of Arnold Schwarzenegger in top 10. That's just, that's just too much. Those are great films that you might even consider them perfect. Uh, thank you very much for joining me today on Nerd Generation. Uh, I'm gonna talk about news. I'm gonna give you my opinion on stuff. I'm gonna make some predictions. Who would've thought we would've got an Infinity War, man? How? 
I don't want to digress into that because they're a subject of future shows that I definitely want to talk to you guys about. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, share with your peoples who, you know, sort of like talking about the same stuff. And let's start this community up, man.